Hi, it's Molly from Sacred Fire Creative. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a website that was created with the aqua theme. And we are going to edit the homepage slider, which is the main slider. So this video is created for my client, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look first at the website. So here's the website. And it's moving on to the second slide right now. And what we can do is you can see that we can toggle back and forth between the two slides. And there's a text box and a button. And then we go to the next slide, another text box and a button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dashboard. So you do need to be logged in to the dashboard of WordPress, the back end. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to hover over Slider Revolution and go ahead and type Slider Revolution. And you'll see that the slider that we're going to edit is called the Aqua Slider Home Full Width. So you can just go ahead and click on that. All right, and so we'll see here there's slide one and slide two. And so for slide one, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. And so now if I want to click on and change any of the text, I can do that here. And I want to click the pencil. And then you can go ahead and change the text here. Keep in mind that the line breaks are created by this HTML symbol here. All right. And so if you want line breaks to show up, you're going to need to insert those. And when that looks good to you, you can click the check mark. And then if you want to edit the See More button, you can also open this up so that it shows the different layers go to the pencil and edit the see more button. And so what you're going to want to change here if you want to change anything is the link that it goes to and then the text see more. So other than that I would keep the rest the same. Again when you want it changed go ahead and click the check mark and then if I scroll up I can also click this to change the image main background image. So if I click change image, I can choose a different image from my media library and click insert. And then from there, you want to make sure and save that slide. So I'm going to click save slide. And then that's the last thing that we need to do if you want to click and change any of that. Obviously, if I want to click and change slide number two, I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And then if I scroll down, we will see eventually. Let's go ahead to that page. Here we go. Here we go. And so again, to change the image, Click change image up here. To change the text, you can click on a layer and go ahead and click the button, the pencil, to edit it. If you want to check out one of the other layers, you can go ahead and do that. Like that. Again, just be very conscious of what you're editing here. If there's anything that you don't want to change or you feel like you made a mistake, go ahead and click out of it anywhere. I'm just clicking on something random and it won't make the changes. And then you can always scroll down and go back to Slider Revolution and go back into the gallery to edit that slide. And there you have it, a really simple way to edit the main slider. Thanks a lot.